All righty. Making sure we're good to go. Video good. All right. So now I will do a video on Baco. Actually, uh, a couple of people did request me. The rights will be changing soon, but there will be a couple of new ones that will be changing in style. But most of the most of the, it'll be the same. So. If you decide to go for Warlord Attacks, it does give you the Snare. The Snare you can actually build into in your fourth round. If you hit it, you get more uh, stickiness. You can also, which I'll just show you. I'm going to actually pick it this round. So there's other things you can do with this feature as well. Um, with the Snare, you can hit the Space Bar, which is after you get into him, you can hit the Space Bar, you can guarantee the hit. Also, it ups your Orb Securance, which is puts it to 28 to 30 at three stacks. Don't do this guy. God damn it, Zedica. Fuck, dude. You're destroying my timing. So, snare, 30 damage. You got it? Yeah, you do. So, makes me quite a dip, bit more sticky. And it gives you a little bit of self peel. So, I was able to push the Rygon away from me. Keep the orb securance and get some health. Um, another feature I'll show you, which is one of my favorites, my old favorite builds. Besides, you can guarantee that 100%. You can guarantee that. So your space bar now becomes a guaranteed move unless they, you know, do something to block it. Shut up. All right, so I'm gonna run from him right now. Cut back around. Lol. All right, moving on. Nice. Shit, I cut it short. Give me some healing, bro. Heal me, you god damn it. Oh well. So, anyway, It'll it'll make more sense when I'm able to flush out the build, which I can't wait until the new rights, the new battle system's up. What up, Torment? Gay. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> so, the next part of the feature will be, I'll show you the next round, the, the choices you can make. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the, the one I usually favor. More damage instead of sustain. Because a lot of Bakos, you'll see them, they'll usually do weaken, which is uh, off their shield bash. Um, they can reduce their damage and healing by 50% for two and a half or three seconds. I think it's three. Which is good, but norm normally it's a telltale, it's a telegraph. I mean, they have to be able to react to it, but if they use it aggressively, they don't have that bulwark. And in certain situations, you want to keep that up to be defensive. I generally don't favor it, because if you're playing well, it just takes longer to kill a, a healing character. Supports or... Uh... Damn, is that a good? That was crazy. But uh, I'll keep it going. We'll see. I died that time, but I don't know. Baco's more fun later on. Hit it. There you go. 22. Oh, there's another thing I can't help but stress, and it's math. Math is the main thing you want to stay on top of. Know what your orb securance is at. Know what your damage can do. Know what damage they can do. Because a lot of the rights are going to change. A lot of them will be adding damages, reducing cooldowns, adding effects. Keeping a, a close eye on that will be very, very beneficial to you. So, all right. Now that we can go into the next right. Um, most usually pick this now. Uh, occasionally if you do this, usually you double down with the Raging Ram, gives you more um, distance and a two second cooldown, which is shared by both the regular and the EX ability. Uh, this one heals you for 10 health on three charges, which is not bad if you wanted to do some trades or keep your health sustained high. Um, this one allows you to, what was it, shield stun some people and then actually walk away from them. Because normally when you do your E and you slam them to the wall, they're able to you know start hitting buttons, react instantly. So now if you do a adrenaline rush, it gives your next auto attack, which is at base 9, plus 10 damage. So when you catch someone unawares, or it does off the EX as well. So you end cap, E them into the wall, and then uh, M1. So it's being about 8 damage plus 16 plus 19. So 35, 43. So it's a, it's a good combo for about a meter. I was slow to react on that one. Baco's only as good as he's able to hit M uh, M2s, by the way. That's where all your burst is at. And I missed, so I'm garbage. Anyway. So 
So you know what I'm saying? It goes off the EX as well. Got her. She snared. They killed her. Okay, so this is why I normally wouldn't use it aggressively because because he hit Rygons for post and now with the recent nerf, it actually procs. Oh, hold on. We ain't going like no bitches, bro. Come on. All right. So now that it does that, you don't want to use your... What up, T-Lop? So you don't want to normally use it aggressively. So, um... I don't like using the Bulwark uh, Weaken. It's really strong, definitely against healers. But if you play it right, well, play it perfectly, I would have to say. But now for these third rights, um, I don't see too many Bakas use the mobile defense. It is actually, it's pretty good. It's a very big movement speed buff. It's a good way to kite away. I probably should start using that for Esmos, but I don't. Um, this is the one you'll see the most bravery, which is 33% damage reduction, which is applied to yourself and allies if you space far near them. The landing, not the start of it. Uh, it's two and a half seconds. For 33%. But my personal favorite, and which doubles down in this, is because your every auto attack reduces the cooldown of your blood axe. So every every auto attack is 0.6 seconds off your time. So if you do this, and then on the fourth round, if they win, you can get it down to two and a half seconds. So it's like two autos, and you can have it up. And you can basically, if you time your R right, and you just start autoing away, you can just destroy people's health. Which hopefully I can get to show you at some point. Alright, so here's stun. You know, nothing protect himself. Auto, auto, auto. So. She's dead. So, it's even more brutal. So it's even more brutal when you actually get the cooldown reduction on the blood axe. So you snare, snare, snare. You're autoing because you you have that 30, 33 to 35%. I think it's 33% attack speed buff. So you're actually getting a faster cooldown off your M2. And if you have the snare up, you, they, they just can't get away from you. You're like a walking giant version of Esmo. <laughs> so that's one way I build them. So I'll, I, we didn't get to finish it all the way out because I didn't win around. So snare, bonus damage off of your space bar, the rampage. Howling Axe, and then I usually go stun instead of shield. I don't really care for stabil uh, not stability, sustain. Um, the next build I'll try and do, I can do the normal one, which is Shield Bash, Red Axe, Bravery, and then generally they go Inspiration, and then Mammoth Stomp. But I will do the Raging Ram build, because I like doing off-meta stuff, and I'm a filthy casual. So I'll do the Raging Ram, the Wall Slam, Rampage, Yes, because I'll, uh, yeah, I'll do Rampage, Axe, and Shield. So this gives you also, so when you do the Wall Slam, if you use the EX version, so when you do your dash, you push them away instead of dragging them onto your shield with the regular E, you can hit them into a wall and it'll count as a stun. So say if certain maps that have the walls that basically when the circle gets smaller, you can actually EX, EX E them into the wall and get like a 0.6 second breathing room. But I'll, I'll show you what I mean. But I just, I really enjoyed the burst of this, but this gives you also like a little, like a, a gimp to Rygon dash allows you to be a little bit more mm, scooty. That's the word I'm looking for. Because now it moves it from 8 to 6 on a cooldown. So now you're not as uh, stuck, say, if you were caught by an Esmo. Because big bodies are ruined by Esmo. This, this makes it super hard to kite. I mean, it looks beautiful and I look like I'm for, for honor or something. But uh, as soon as this next match cues, I'll show you Raging Ram. So I'll do this. Double down into this. I usually just go like this. This is what I've actually come to favor now, but I'm gonna do this. Mm. And then Rampage, I, I don't know, I can't stress it enough. The thing is really good. Scooty, <laughs> yeah, Scooty, that's the word I'm going for. Scooty Puff Jr. So, uh, Raging Ram, Wall Slam, Rampage, Howling Axes. I'll try those and we'll see how that, how that goes out for me. Because this is one of those off-brand builds. Normally, most people go the Bulwark, the Shield Bash. Shield Bash off Bulwark because it's really strong. Weaken is pretty much meta for dealing with healers, especially healers that are coordinated. But since I'm in, uh, what do they call this? 
uh, YOLO Q? No, I'm not kidding. I'm playing with Zedica. So, but uh, we'll get a few matches in with him, on, and I'll show you how that works. But yeah, this one. This one's fun to me. A lot more fun. I just like jamming people in the walls, though. That's why I like playing Freya. So, let's see if we can get it. But yeah, so what I was saying the last match, while I'm trying to focus, sleepy. Warlord's Axe allows you, if you land this and then you space bar, they can't walk out of that combo because they're snared. So you can do that and guarantee the space bar if they don't have a movement ability up. So it's a really good pressure. And if you go into this, you can also get the bust in damage. So you go from, was it 16? No, 18 damage. 22 if you do the regular version or eight if you do the EX version. If you E them as a wall, it's another 16. And then you did the auto attack, that's another uh, 19. So like that all together, it's, just, it's quite a bit of damage if you can catch it. But normally you'll do this and you'll do that and you do a space bar and they'll escape. They'll have, they have to use a movement ability to escape. But I'm gonna do the Raging Ram and then we'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll change my mind depending on how the situation turns out for the third round. First two rounds, I'll probably just go into the Raging Ram shield, shield bash done stuff because it's fun. I like bashing people, <laughs> I really do. Now, actually, this would be really fun against Rook uh, to get the snaring axe because he doesn't have a lot of terms of mobility. So you can frustrate the shit out of him with the uh, Warlord's axe. Or you can go Shield Bash, Raging Ram. Shield Bash is also a good mind game, too, because once you throw up your Bulwark and you walk towards them, they're like, okay, he might try and, to, he might try and you know, bash you. It's a good thing because you have to react really fast, so you can bait out a Q if you wanted to do that. But I said, I'm going to try Raging Ram. But uh, we'll see how this goes. Got the stun. Fun fact. Rook cannot cancel this at all. Also, it's getting a nerf, 0.7 to 0.5. But, ooh, rip. So, um, he can't cancel if he commits to the M2. If he hits that button, you can Q it if you hold your Q. That was too slow. Yep, got me. Oh, he knows what he's doing. Fuck out of here, dude. Gotta get away. He has M2. Damn it. Don't let him do that. Probably gonna get in capped. No. Nope. Okay, M2 is down on him. Not reacting fast enough. It's really quick. Okay, as long as I didn't get stuck next to that guy, I'm about to do. Oh, we can make this kill, dude! It's clutch, 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 clutch. And big bodies. <laughs> There you go. You can win this, though. Rook, just just don't be scared of him. You're fine. I just wasn't reacting fast enough on the Q. That's my third finger, dude. If it was my index or my middle finger, I could get it really fast. But it's my, my ring finger. The gimped finger. But that's the main thing you want to do. Is you want to try and save that for any time you're trying to go in. Spacebar or uh, M2 otherwise. Speaking of which, let me get my... <laughs> now that I'm streaming. And so he's actually lost a good chunk of his health. Lost another good chunk of his health, but now he has no meter. He's he's a little bit in danger area. Yep, red, M2. There it is. He has no Q. His Q is going to be up in another two seconds. Space bar is up on him as well. There it is. It's 
So his goal here now, since he's a healer, is to reduce his health to a comparable amount. Got him. EX space bar. Yeah. So you should not petrify him once it goes down to the final zone. Try and secure the orb. M EX M1? No. Nope. He's gonna win that. Yeah, he did now. I didn't that was unfortunate how that worked out. But that's fine. Brook is a big CC bot, so it's fine. I don't like getting bullied, but it'll come back in, in time. So. <clears throat> so now I'm going for the stun. So now, like I was saying before, you can e EXE him, hit him, and if he hits the wall, he's just stunned. So, but it reduces your damage. It goes minus four to the EX version, so 12. Putting a lot of pressure on him. Fuck. No. So I didn't know he was going to ult. Yeah, you're dead. Oh, I gambled it all on him, a bad kid. Hey, dude, stop fucking hitting me, guy. Damn. I'm not reacting fast enough to this cue. Like I said, but it's, it's a really quick move. You just pretty much have to know it's coming. I just got to put him in pressure so I can actually have him second guessing about it, but it's fine. I can do this. Let's do that. Let's go with this. And I think I'm going to get the bulwark cooldown actually for this situation. There's a lot of stuff of Rook I can make him guess as long as I'm actually around my teammate to do so. Could have stacked that damage really well, though. Fuck that up. Oh, my shit wasn't up yet. Oh, it's my turn, baby. Oh, no. I thought he was going to go for the fucking series. 100% sure. He's got to die. Woof. He already used it, so he has four more seconds before it's up. Stunned. Take the green. No math, baby. You know, my teammate might have just rushed in there and fucking did <laughs> took it. <laughs> so this is why I really like Rampage. Because also with your attack speed buff, you get a movement speed buff. And for big body characters that don't have a lot of mobility options, I like the movement speed. But I'm probably going to go with this one. 
energy gain would be really nice. <sighs> yeah. You're the meaning in my life. You're the inspiration. Brought feelings to my life. All right. So. And then I will um, basically end the Baco tutorial. Because really the other stuff is pretty much off meta. Once you know what you're doing with certain characters, it really comes with knowing the knowledge on matchups. So like that, EXE. I'm not scared of you, bro. Oh, I fucked that up, dude. My bad. I hit that on purpose. <gasps> oh, I tried to get up under that. Bitch. Yeah, so I like Raging Ram a lot. It gives you a lot of pressure. And in maps like these, like where the, the, the um, walls are a lot closer together, they definitely make you a lot more aggro. Because now they have to watch your positioning a lot more. It's just another distractor, really. So I like it. But also just like jamming people in the walls, like I said before. It's just, I don't know. Walls, walls and people just seem to go together so well. You get my pun? Blah, 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 blah. Anyway. But, uh. I think I will try the, excuse me, the normal other build after this one. What most people usually do. Bam. I'm a G. Bitch, I'm a god. Shouldn't have done that. I gotta play it cool. Him too. Oh, it's time. All right, I got about 56 damage off on him. Oh, I missed because I'm an idiot. Got him still, too. He ain't in capping me, fool. And I told you, get your broom. <laughs> I told you the broom was coming, bro. The broom was coming. Oh man. Alrighty. Um, I'll, sh I'll do one more Abaco build. Not even close. A donkey. Not even close, baby. <laughs> hey man, I said GG first. Alright, so. Um, I forgot I muted it. Yeah, Kyle, I was just doing a video. So I was muting it, so I was explaining some of the ins and outs of it. Storm songs? Stormy? Stormy weather? Oh, you're back. Yeah, and it was never gone. I was just exp doing a video. That's why I was explaining a lot of stuff. Oh, uh, okay. So I do have one more match, and I'm going to do another build. But that's like one of the other viable builds. I think the last one is the one you'll see the most of. Yeah. Since I'll have this up, I'll throw this up on YouTube. What was I talking about? Uh, I'm brain fart now. Ah, yes, the Shield Bash Weekend, uh, Red Axe, Bravery is the one you'll see in Inspiration. So it gives them a lot of protections for combat potential. But that's the one I like to do right here. But this will change very soon. Um, it was just by request. Someone wanted to do a video, wanted me to do a video, basically a Baco tutorial. Because it's coming up next week. Super hype. Five all battle rights at once. You get to pick your deck. Hopefully, you can forego the whole ultimate. If, oh, hey, Wolfgang. You want? Up up here. Say hello to the stream, Mr. Gangers. 
Anyway, what was I saying? So it'll come changing pretty soon. I mean, there's going to be a couple of new rights. Like, they're going to break up the damage for the Adrenaline Rush for Baka. So instead of it being plus 10, it's like plus 8. But then they added a right for the Raging Ram. So every time you E someone or you just use E, you get plus 8 damage on your auto attack. So it's a net buff, actually, since it's only plus 10 before. And now it's plus uh, 16 if you do both. You just have to put more of your moves on cooldown. But, but this new, these new rights are going to make it so much fun. And then the game goes free to play November 8th. Hello, Mr. Gangers. You're feeling lonely and bored. <clears throat> now when the match starts, I'll kick you off of here, just so you know. <laughs> There's moments like this where you're a really awesome cat. Well, the moments are just not so much. <laughs> yeah. While we wait for the queue, I will play with my cat just so you know. Do, 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 do. All right, Mr. Gangers, the point in time has come. Yeah. Ooh, jeez. Left a lot of hair on me. Meta Cloudus are really good. I've played against them a couple times before, as well as the Court Jester. All right, so. <laughs> What's up? Oh, payday. Yeah, I'm gonna play with you a few of those. I just wanted to do this video, do a few matches with Zeddy, and then I'm done. I'm playing a lot with Zeddy now lately. I really want to break my character though. I ain't gonna lie. Just being able to snipe people with Moscone. <laughs> Pestless is hard to play, dude. Pestless is hard to play. Yeah. 
Fuck. Get this fucking queen out of my way, dude. It's time to get. Damn, I'm catching into the pestilence. I'm out of there. This is the part I, I don't like about fighting Varish that much. Playing a lot of Ring Around the Rosie games with him. Woo! Played that super well. Okay. So as you saw, I was able to dance around him, but basically I ha I have to kite back against the Varish matchup. Otherwise, I'm going to just get eaten to the floor and die in oblivion. It's just 100% like that, guaranteed. But it helps that he was uh, not predicting me stepping away from him. Stepping away for a moment. VVVK. <laughs> God damn it, Smite. <laughs> I'm gonna have VGS commands in the rest of my head for the rest of my life. <laughs> but anyway, um, but yeah, so actually, I wasn't even covering the matchup for them. So the main thing you want to do is you want to make sure to always pay attention to where he's got uh, judgment on someone, especially you or yourself in particular. Uh, so that panic actually helped out quite a bit. So I kite away. Cause he went all spacebar build. Uh, kite away. Can't. Body's too big. 22 damage, 28 now. He's about the bonus damage. He dies. GG. Yeah. Varus fights is super annoying. It's easier when you're playing like Freya or Shifu because you can cleanse yourself or croak. As long as you do it properly. But that means you have to walk up and not use your camouflage aggressively. Because if, if he can hit ease, you die. You just 100% die. <laughs> That's pretty much it. But, uh, alright. Let's let it go. But I basically just want to put this video video up, show you how you can, in certain matchups, play Baco. You just have to change for other things. Um, if you want to know how the matchups work or will work, I won't know how they will work, but I know how they work right now, at least for the next week. Mm. But yeah, that's how you do the Baco. But uh, I'm going to hop off for a bit, play some Payday, chill out, and maybe get a nap in that was really interrupted earlier. <laughs> All right, guys.